the number of possible worlds in Minecraft. This not only includes the number of possible block combinations, but other, more complex details, sign text, chest items, command block lines, entities, and every other variable you can cram into an 1.16 Minecraft world. Minecraft is known for its perceived infiniteness, sometimes a bit too infinite, but it's possible to find the number of unique Minecraft worlds that can ever be made. That number is quite unimaginably big, but how exactly did we get that? We will be attempting to answer this question, which has plagued humanity since its conception, so sit back, sit on a chair, and relax. This is the number of possible Minecraft worlds. Let's start off relatively simple. With the number of possible block configurations that you can put in one block. Now you may be wondering I can just create a debug world by using this button on the keyboard and button on my mouse and count how many blocks there are, but there is an even better method. Calculating the number of possible chests, command blocks, etc. Basically blocks with complex tag data. To be specific, the tags we will be looking at are, sign text, command block text, chest items, and skull data. First up, sign text, because that was the easiest to do. The maximum amount of characters you can stuff in one line depends on how fat the characters are. On average, you can put 30 characters on each line. And since there are 4 lines in a sign, you just do the math and boom 120 characters on an average sign. So, how many possible characters are there? You can put characters of all sorts of languages on these signs. In fact, Minecraft also recognizes all sorts of other symbols. An explanation for this is that Minecraft uses the most recent version of Unicode, which is Unicode 13, which recognizes almost everything you can think of. Unicode 1.13 has 143,859 different characters. After testing out all Unicode characters on Minecraft signs, I have confirmed that these somehow work. I can barely imagine the pain someone had to go through to turn all of these into Minecraft characters, knowing that nobody is going to use them. The next step is to raise 143,859 to the power of 120 to get the number of possible signs. How exactly do we do that? Do not fear, for I have found a video where Ant Venom has found a calculator founded by a guy who calls himself Tomic. The number we get is 8.96 times 10 to the power of 618. Which isn't really that bad, but it will be bad compared to command blocks. Command blocks have a far larger character limit, with a limit of 32,500 characters, and as expected, they use Unicode 13 as well. Now let's do 143,859 to the power of 32,500. The result is 8.99 times 10 to the power of 167,000. Which is quite frankly, the number of different command block lines you can use. Finally, we need to know the number of unique player skulls we can create. Yes, you can fill your world with a bunch of unique different player heads. To answer this question, let's take a look at my favorite skin creator. Skins come in two layers. The first layer, and the second layer. The first layer has a surface area of 384. The second layer has a surface area of 384 as well. Meaning the total number of pixels on one skull is 768. The number of possible colors you can create with RGB in one pixel is 16,777,216. By the way, we will combine these two numbers in the power calculator thing which gives us 1.96 times 10 to the power of 5448. So, the single block with the most possibilities is the command block, hands down. However, we will be introducing the shulker box and the wood chest. With this magic trick, you can get a command block item that comes with the command. Next, you put these items in shulker box. Next, you put these shulker boxes in the chest. By the way, this doesn't really make a difference to the amount of possible configurations a single block can have. Now you may be thinking, Igblon you are wrong you can fill the chest with written books get absolutely disproved. Actually, written books have a third of the max command block length. Anyways the total amount of possible blocks you can put in one block, 
is about 9 times 10 to the power of 167,000. If you try to add any other block that has a lot of different possibilities, such as redstone, cobblestone walls, water, or whatever, the number will be as unchanged as something that has not changed. However, Minecraft is not a one block world. It is in fact a 922 quadrillion block world due to math that has already been covered in so many videos it is most likely burned into your brain. However, that is only in one dimension. Minecraft is a three-dimensional world. It has three dimensions, each with the same volume. Meaning that a world actually has 2.76 quintillion blocks. Now it is time to do the exciting part. Combining that number, and the volume of the Minecraft world. Let's do this. Okay guys so nothing crazy really happened. The result was just 1.43 times 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 23.6. Well, thanks for watching however, we aren't stopping there just yet. We haven't taken entities into consideration. Mobs, living creatures, dropped items, and armor stands are also part of your world. Now I'm not really sure about the number of mobs Minecraft can handle until it decides it has had enough, but I am pretty sure the number of mobs is stored in some sort of variable. Now it would make the most sense if the number of entities was stored in an integer instead of a double or float, because doubles and floats don't really make sense when it comes to storing whole numbers, and since I run Minecraft on 64-bit, the integer limit is 9.2 quintillion. Meaning that the 64-bit integer limit is technically the maximum amount of mobs Minecraft can handle before it crashes. Now, we shall discuss the number of possible singular entities. We won't be talking about all possible armor combinations or shirt colors or whatever these tags are, but something that all entities have in common. Position. According to something that this is according to, 64-bit doubles are used to store entity positions. Now I'm not really sure what this is all supposed to mean, but basically, doubles can store up to 16 digits of a position of an entity. We can use this information, along with the fact that entities cannot go outside the world border, and being told from a venom producing ant that entities can go up to the double limit, which is this number, we can calculate the total number of possible entity locations, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of 371. Now, we will raise that number to the theoretical hard maximum amount of entities that Minecraft can store. Once you perform that activity, this is the amount that arises. 2.4 times 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 21.5. Now we take the number of possible entity configurations and possible Minecraft block configurations and then raise the number of Minecraft block configurations to the power of entity configurations. So now we will take matters into my own hands. According to the rule of power, Raising a power to a power makes the power more powerful. As in you just multiply them. So I did that. The final exponent we get is 1.58 qua 2 or decillion. Or 10 to the power of 45.2. Which is a type of number you would see in clicker heroes. And so, the number of possible Minecraft worlds, which is carried by the number of possible command block lines and the number of possible entity configurations is 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 1.65. Yes, this includes a world filled with command blocks that all say the entire script of this video. This includes a world with despicable me pixel art. This includes a world where 100 squids are flying around at y equals 10 to the power of 254. Now let's compare our answer to other YouTubers who have other takes on this subject. The game theorists got 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 1.3134. This random dude I found got 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 1.519. This is what I got. So just how big is this number? This number has one and a half quad or decillion zeros in it. Let's say you wanted to write this number out on one line on a piece of paper, and each zero is about one centimeter long. The piece of paper would surpass the length of the observable universe. Long before you even get 1% of writing this thing down, the protons of your body would decay and matter will cease to exist. In fact, this number is so big I feel like we should give it a name like all other big numbers do. 
I call it the Minecraft constant. Ok I think I have talked enough about this topic feel free to check out this other video. Goodbye.